Hey guys, click a poll on the top right corner right now. I have a lot of things to announce to you. If you have done it or you don't want to do it, then enjoy the video. Last time on Ripcard. What the fuck? Oh fuck! Fuck you! Fuck! What the fuck? The fuck! Fuck! This time. What the fuck? The fuck are you? Fuck! Ah! Fuck God! Ah! What are we doing? The fuck! What the hell? Fuck! Ah! Alright, so the last time we did Bad Company 2 and I feel like a lot of people have been enjoying it, so why not do more on Battlefield 3 this time? And the next one we're gonna be on doing on the next big title, which is Battlefield 4. So the last time we didn't really go into these hell, or why you can't really go downhill. I just always show you what it looks like before and what it looks like now. But if you actually look in a very big perspective, Call of Duty hasn't been changing much. Why do I say that? That's because Call of Duty has only a few things that actually fuck them up. So today we're gonna be looking at each thing of what fucks Call of Duty up. Call of Duty in space. Bye, see you, Call of Duty, bye! Laser beam. Oh my god, it looks so cool! Exo jump. Wait, what, what the, what is this? Graphics. Alright, I'm actually gonna be a little serious in this one. It's 2011 graphics. Wait, guys, 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 that's not it. That's not it. Look at this. Whoop! Oh, come on, guys, not that bad. I fucking lied! This? Or this? Or this? Supply drop. Alright, this is a thing that I'm actually gonna be really serious and be honest with. Activision has been always making supply drops so people can pay their money so that they can get the weapon that they want in the supply drop. And do you guys actually know what's the percentage of what you're gonna get the weapon in the supply drop? Less than a percent. Yes. I'm, I'm truly, I'm, I'm dead honest with this. This less than a percent that you're going to get a new DLC weapon is only less than 1%. And that is a horrible way to go. Although I don't have any more to talk about Call of Duty because Call of Duty is it's only this thing that actually bring COD downhill and we can't do anything until the new Call of Duty release or until they actually listen to us. Although I found a really cool topic to talk about today so enjoy. And I'm sorry about the similarity of this video to leafy videos but anyway it has already been made like um, a couple of weeks ago so I just want to show it to you guys. Konishiva and welcome to the world of fucking anime. I even feel ashamed of saying Konishiva in the fucking Get in the wheel. I mean, I should say something like, yeah, Alma, or you can fucking say, Sick up. I mean, can you listen to how cringy that sound when you're s listening to someone speaking in a language that they have absolutely no idea what it means, but because they have Google Translate? Or perhaps I should fucking use British slang so no one can fucking Google Translate it. Or can it? And yes, because we're living in the fucking world of Google Translate and anything can be fucking possible. Come up with Baka. Oh, cool. I'm Baka, mean idiot. And now I'm gonna call my friend and a backer because they don't know what it means. I mean, anyone or any of my friends who start doing that, I just go like what the matter and fucking counter them with different language, and they will have no fucking idea what to reply back from that point. But we're not here to talk about that thing or talk about how racist that song is. If you're not gonna buy anything, please leave the fucking restaurant. But today, I was just about to mention something so cringy about anime fanbase. But I am not trying to offend any anime fanbase, I'm just taking an example out of some of them. And so here I was browsing on Smart, you know, just looking on their posts, on their what they share, and I saw this uh, seven movies that would make a good anime article on their Facebook page, alright? Uh, I say here, I would watch it. So I'm like, oh, that looks pretty interesting, but what I always do before I go and click on the article is that I look down in the comment of it. And this is what I came up with. The first one being, no, Western movies are just not good enough to be anime. Anime. Yet, the first reply being, anime is garbage, or pretty much saying anime is rubbish. And you see, that would offend the fan base of it. Like, literally, it would. Anyway, even though you're not, your point is not to insult any anime fan base, you're just trying to make a point. But using this type of words, they don't care, alright? The next reply comes afterwards. Aaron Yule, which is the guy that replied anime is garbage. I am an otaku. Otakus are all family. We will find you and we will punch you in the up eye. 
parenthesis boobs i'm done i'm done i'm done i'm, I'm, I'm rather listen to that song I like the Horny. Oh man, I'm going to be in a music video. This is gonna be good. Wait, alright, wait. Hold on here. The reprise after this is saying exactly what is in my head the whole time of reading this. That was the most cringiest thing I've ever read. Yes, exactly. That's the fucking cringiest thing I've read yet. What the fuck is that bullshit anyway? And a lot of people agree with him. How do I know a lot of people agree with him? Look at the amount of like fucking 40 and compare this to the other guy that post i am otaku thing too light he got fucking too light that determines everything and at the time when i was reading this comment i have no idea what otaku mean and by no mean before i actually go and search on google what it means i did some guessing all right and i guessed that otaku meaning is a fucking western porn star who literally tries to disguise as a fucking samurai and pretending to be japanese and hey i'm pretty fucking close because this one show on google translate i went on urban fucking dictionary and this is what came up on the First top definition of the fucking day, not the top day. Otaku is an horrific word of taku or home. Otaku is extremely negative in meaning as it is used to refer to someone who stays at home all the time and doesn't have a life, parenthesis, no social life, comma, no love life, etc. Usually an otaku person has nothing better to do with their lives, so they pass their time by watching anime, playing video games, surfing the internet. Otaku is also used to refer to a nerd, hacker, or programmer. In the western culture, people confuse otaku to be something positive like guru. If you think about it, it's not really good to be called guru if it means you are a total loser who can't socialize with other people except through the internet and oh my god i mean i'm not offended by anything but that meaning was really deep and that's not the only one guys that's even more shorter and powerful fucking meaning Otaku is a Japanese word for house, as in you never leave it. Holy shit, fuck man. That was one deep fucking meaning right there. Fucking hell, holy shit. And while not all anime fan base are crazy, but most that I know is fucking crazy, alright? Like they will literally make a fucking dinner for the fucking anime body pillow and then having a fucking sex afterwards. And although I know he put a lot of effort on making this video, you know, as you can see, like, holy crap, the freaking sound effect is amazing, man. <laughs> and yup, as I said, after having dinner, they fucking fuck. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let, let's uh, take take a moment here. Alright, let's all take a moment here and let it sink in. Alright. This is humanity. Let's not make this video too long. Let us sums up this whole thing right here. Is that you can have your fucking profile as an anime. You can watch anime. You can do play games about anime, but not fucking. <laughs> and while I'm still annoyed at people of who really, really like anime that admire so much that try to be so Japanese so that you can be like animes. Although they are really, really fucking weird in, in terms of everything. In terms of everything, alright? Oops, sorry. Anime is alright. I love watching... No, I don't fucking love watching... I enjoy watching anime and a lot of people love it. Don't get too far into it and try to turn yourself into a fucking otaku, right? Because I already explained what an otaku is. What the fuck? Otaku is extremely negative in meaning as it is used to refer to someone who stays at home all the time and doesn't have a life, parenthesis, no social life, karma, no love life, karma, etc. Usually an otaku person has nothing better to do with their lives so they pass their time by watching anime, playing video games, surfing the internet. And all this thing where you try to literally use the word backer to call someone an idiot because they won't know what it means and it's literally the cringiest fucking word I've heard. They all fucking know now if they watch this video and don't forget to encounter them with some other language. Something like what I mentioned. If you really have no other ways to fucking get out of this problem, throw them in one of these. <laughs> 
Well, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you now know how to encounter fucking otakus, alright? But any of you who's getting into anime for the first time, you can watch it, enjoy it, have fun watching it, but don't fucking become otakus, alright? Because otakus, we are all family, and we will find you, and we will punch you in the opai. And see you guys in the next one. Bye!